Hey, welcome to Student Ministry That Matters. I'm Ben Trueblood, and today I wanna to talk to you about how to lead when you're discouraged. So it's easy to lead in a moment when things are going well, like when you have a ton of momentum and you feel like everything's working the way that you think it should work, you're feeling really healthy. Those are the easy leadership moments, but what about those moments when you're discouraged? What about those moments when you find yourself in a spot where people are looking to you for leadership, for you to guide them, and you're looking around, you're looking at yourself, and you're thinking, man, I, I don't know if I can do that right now. Well, you can, and I wanna give you three ways to lead when you're discouraged. The first thing is to do this, be appropriately vulnerable. Discouragement is something that everyone deals with, and by recognizing it, with the people that you lead, the people on your team, you develop a camaraderie on the team and a culture where it's okay to admit and work through discouragement together. This is really, really important. I think as leaders, sometimes we get to the place where we think, man, I don't need to let anyone know that there's this weakness or there's this discouragement that I'm feeling because that will be passed on to them, where in reality, People aren't looking for you to be perfect as a leader. They're looking for you to be real as you lead them. And as you do that, you'll develop this culture where it's okay to admit that you might not be okay and that working through that discouragement together is something that teams do. Now again, appropriate vulnerability there, but putting on the perfect face only drives that discouragement deeper into our souls. We need to let it out. We need to let it out to the teams that are around us so that we can work through it together. And listen, I know that you as a leader, if someone on your team was feeling discouraged, you would want them to come talk to you about that so that you could work through that discouragement together. The same thing is true the other way around. So be appropriately vulnerable about the discouragement that you're feeling. Number two, find rest. In times of discouragement, we as leaders don't have the luxury to just stop leading for a time. We have to lead through it. We have to keep moving forward in these moments. However, we can find moments of stepping away through rest. You might not be able to set leadership aside altogether, but you can carve out moments where you can rest and recharge. Find something where your brain and your body can take a break from the pressures of leadership. When we don't take care of ourselves in this way, it often multiplies the discouragement. So what do you enjoy doing? What gives your brain and your body a break? Identify those things and in moments of discouragement, find ways to participate in those things often. And number three, be purposeful in your time with Jesus. Now, some of you might say that should go without saying, but before you turn the video off right here, just hear me out, even though you're a spiritual leader and you probably knew this one already. Be purposeful in your time with Jesus. Through prayer, journaling, scripture reading, memorization, be purposeful in seeking him around the areas of discouragement that you're experiencing. This will cause you to have to be still and quiet for a moment to really think about the root of the cause of the discouragement you might be feeling. Ask Jesus to help you identify that. And once that cause has been identified, spend some intentional time journaling about that. Just putting your gut level honest thoughts out on a page to the Lord. Pray, read scripture along the topic, but be purposeful in that time with Jesus. So again, three ways that you can continue to lead even when you're discouraged. First, be appropriately vulnerable and help your team build a culture that it's okay to admit when you're discouraged and to work through discouragement together. Number two, find rest, places, things to do that give your mind and your body a break. And number three, be purposeful in your time with Jesus to focus in on that discouragement and just let your thoughts and your heart be known to the Lord. I'd love to hear in the comments below how you deal with discouragement in your own life. I'd love to learn from you on that. Make sure you hit like and subscribe on the way out of the video today.